guys what's up welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm gonna do a very casual walkthrough of my desk area my creative space as i like to call it this is a huge upgrade from what i had before if you guys have been following me for a while and reading my blog then you'll know what it looked like before and if i could find a picture i will insert it so that you can see so i have a totally different corner of the bedroom i want to show you everything that i have and i'm also going to talk about my vision board as well as some tips for putting together your own vision board people ask me all the time about this so i figured i'd just put it all in one video Let's get started. So first, let's talk about this chair. I absolutely love the black and white cow print that it has going on. This I got from Wayfair. I think it was a little bit under over $100. Um, I personally, I love it. The back is low, but I'm petite, so I find it to be really comfortable. If you're taller, then this probably won't be very supportive in your back, but I think it's the perfect type for me. And I love it. It completely spins around like that. The wheels make it really easy as well to like get around and stuff. This pillow was a TJ Maxx purchase. It was $14.99. I got it because initially I thought I was going to have hints of lilac in the bedroom. But we have since changed our color scheme. It is now shades of gray and navy. So, But whatever, it's comfortable on my back. So that is the chair. Okay, and this is what the desk looks like. These are the legs. Just really like the design of it. It has one drawer. The bottom piece of the drawer though is like this really flimsy type of cardboard and mine actually completely fell. So I don't use my drawer. I need to get that fixed. But I know a lot of people use this desk as like a vanity. You can't tell on camera, but this is actually an off-white cream color. I got this from Wayfair, but it came from Walmart. And on the site, it'll say that it's white, but it's not white. Just keep that in mind. Um, I was not thrown off by that because I'm obsessed with reading reviews and everyone just pointed that out. So I knew what I was getting. No surprise there. Um, over here on the right-hand side, I like to keep this cute little fan that my boyfriend got me. It gets really hot in the bedroom and sometimes I don't want to turn on the ceiling fan so it's just nice to have this little guy here that I could just turn on while I'm working and direct it towards me like I am right now. It feels so cool. <laughs> Love it. Also, this little desk lamp here is also a gift from my boyfriend. This is a touch lamp. It has three settings. So let me just show you it real quick. This is the first setting second and the third i very rarely go as high as the third um but it's just nice to have if i'm up late and i'm working and he's in the bed because my desk is in the bedroom and also this thing is completely adjustable so i can lower it and just bring it back up so it's really handy really really cute it also has this little usb outlet and that's how i have the fan connected so that's powering that over here, look at this cute little pen, pencil holder thing. I just love the eyelashes and like the blush cheeks. I thought it was so cute. I got this from Target. I believe it was like $7.99. Here I just keep my pencils and colored markers and gel pens and things like that. I'm obsessed with using color in my planner. It just helps me to remember certain things if I write it down in you know, a particular color. So that's just something that I like to do. That's my little mouse there. Got it from Amazon, my laptop. Here I just had my planner that I got from Staples and I've just been loving it so far. So this little caddy over here is also a purchase from Target. Now, what I liked about it was this color scheme that I was going for my desk was just kind of like neutrals with lots of pops of color, as you can tell. But I just love that this was white and gold and like that natural wood finish because it ties in with the frame of my um, vision board that I have up. These little sections actually come out, so it makes it really, really easy to clean. Here, I just have my pens. Over here, I have my USBs and SD cards. I have my business cards here for now, but I need to find a place to put them so I can use this area for something else. And then just two notebooks that I use for blogging and YouTube. And this is my vision board, which you guys have seen a lot. 
in my videos as my background and I'll get to that in a second. Right above my vision board is this little, I don't know what to call it. This is also from Target and it has a button up top. Um, I just need to charge it, but this lights up. It's just a very nice, um, subtle white light and I love it. I love having quotes and phrases all around me and I got this one just as a constant reminder that as hard as life gets, I am always blessed. So I love it. These white floating shelves right here are also from Target. This, These are the smaller ones. I think these were $19.99. I can't remember. I'll link it down below for you guys if I could find it. On top, I just have this frame. I got this award back in May and they gave us like a framed picture of us on the cover of the magazine. And I don't think I'm going to keep it there. I just put it there for now. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But that's where it's going to live. And then over here on this little floating shelf, I have this M marquee lamp, which I love. This also turns on and I'll do that so you guys can see it. So it's like a, it's a yellow light. This is also from Target. And then on this little shelf, I just keep my five minute journal, my everyday journal, this little notebook I use just for like blogging and making image selects. I like to note it down on there. And then this little faux plan is also from Target. I was trying to incorporate more greens. Um, so I decided I'll start off with a fake plant for now. My boyfriend's not a fan of real plants, but I mean, I grew up with plants all over the place. That's just how my grandmother rolled, and I miss it. So <laughs> that's why I got that little guy. And then just off to the side of my desk is this wonderful wood finish type of frame. I don't even know what you want to call it, but I love the quote. And like I said, I'm huge on quotes and sayings and positive affirmations. I like to surround myself with things that are just constantly going to be uplifting and motivating and inspiring. And I just, I loved it. And again, this wood finish, I just, I just, I couldn't, I just could not leave it. Okay, so now let's get to the vision board portion. I've had this vision board for maybe six years now or five and a half years. I have my headshot right in the middle because this is not my current headshot, but at the time this was my headshot. I keep it in the middle. This was my acting vision board and it has since grown to so much more than just acting, but just general life and other, you know, career goals that I have. So the right side of it is mainly all of the acting stuff and commercial work that I want to do which is why I have beauty here and just like pictures of things that I want to do and brands that I want to work with. I have eye stuff there because I've always wanted to be an eye model so that's why I have that and I have quotes that I just took from magazines and articles um, that really spoke to me you know people I want to work with award shows I want to go to and yeah I mean like hello that's my future baby daddy focus on Jake Gyllenhaal like hello again more positive affirmations that's my nickname don't be cute only special people could call me that and then over here is just like other stuff so I have again things that I want to do I want to do more voiceovers which is great because I actually just started auditioning for voiceovers so I'm like yes visions coming um brand ambassadorships i want to do some more motivational speaking again more like editorial type of looks that i like and things that i would <clears throat> like to do this is a picture of jayla by the way i have her on here because i mean i think her legs are inspiration like hello hello of course orange is new black i was not joking when i said that i've had the show on my vision board since forever so that's there and here's just like life you know like my life my style blogging that's what's important to me is being an influential blogger inspirational blogger just you know that's how i envision my blogging i don't know what's up with my voice right now <clears throat> i want to travel more so i have little picture of a passport i would love to work with moroccan oil so that's why i have them on there i have a little book because i want to publish a book one day so yeah this is just like general life stuff on this side like healthy balance of like everything outside of acting my life my style personal love relationships all of that good stuff i don't create a vision board every single year i know people do that but the reason why i don't do that is because i feel like this is big enough as it is i don't have the space to have you know framed vision boards like that size all over the place and also i just like the idea of 
constantly adding to my visions and what I have as opposed to just creating something new every single year because it's not like those dreams die you know those goals don't stop and I think you should still keep working towards them even if they don't come into fruition within that year it could come into fruition later on so I keep it on here because it's just a reminder to like keep going and to keep working hard if I haven't achieved a goal like to just keep at it and if I have, it's a great reminder that like, wow, this is what I wanted, this is what I put down, and it's coming to life. And you just, you know, I never want to stop. It's not like, oh yeah, this came true, so now I'm good. No, I, it's just a great reminder to just keep working hard. So that is my vision board. What I did, because obviously this started off as acting, I got magazines that were business related. So Hollywood Reporter, Variety, Deadline, things like that. And that's where I got like these pictures from like the award shows and Emmys and 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 things like that so just keep in mind what your vision board is for or what you want to put on it make sure that you have magazines to go through pull quotes uh pull keywords that speak to you put that on your vision board it's also good to just go onto google like i got this from google i got that from google images and just type in and see what comes out and print it and just plast it on your vision board like I I don't have that much white space left, so this is filling up pretty quickly. Maybe once this is completely full, I'll move on to another or like a new vision board. But for now, I just love this little collage thing that I have going on right now with my vision board. And that's basically how I put it together and how I constantly update it. So yeah, that's my entire work creative space area i love it i love my little corner and in case you're curious these um what do you call these these curtains are from walmart which i need to change <laughs> that is everything and i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe leave me a comment and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.